welcome to today's class. We're going to be focusing on back bending and chest opening to help you guys achieve better back bends in your yoga practice. As we know, our back bends do require a lot of flexibility in our spine, but some things we often forget is the strength and the flexibility required through the whole of our body, including our shoulders and our chest need to be nice and open, and our quads and hips need to be open and also strong enough to push us up into poses like wheel pose. Also, we're gonna to have to increase the strength in our wrist to enable us to push into our wheel pose, which is gonna be our peak pose today. So every single pose we um, perform today is gonna to prepare us for our final pose, which is wheel pose. I'm gonna talk you through everything nice and clearly to enable you to perform your wheel without letting your lumbar spine forfeit. We don't want any tension to be built on our lumbar spine. We need to protect our lower spine and help open out our thyroid spine, the upper parts of the chest. Anyway, let's get started. First thing I wanna um, check with you guys is if you have a block or also a large dictionary, anything a kind of large rectangle size just to have it by um, your side so when we come to our bridge and wheel towards the end, we have a block to make sure that our knees, knees stay in the correct alignment. So let's start by warming our body up first, which is the most important thing. We need to be nice and warm before we start attempting these difficult back bends. So as we inhale, lift the arms overhead, stretching towards the sky. Exhale, drop the right arm, bring the left arm overhead. Inhale deeply, exhale, draw a half circle, place your right hand on the mat, inhale, left hand, sorry, right hand draws overhead. Exhale, draw that half circle one more time, inhale, left arm draws overhead. Exhale, draw that half circle, place it on the mat, inhale, opposite arm. Exhale, draw that half circle. Just take a few little rolls through the spine. And then the opposite way. And then when you're ready, coming to find a kneeling pose, straight away we're gonna extend the left leg out to the side. Make sure that your foot is parallel to the front of your room, baby toe side, pushing down on the floor. Engage the thighs, engage the kneecaps. Inhale, draw the spine tall, tuck the tailbone, tuck the core. Exhale, dropping the right hand to the mat. Inhale, left arm draws overhead. Push that arm to the opposite side of the room to your leg. Pressing that foot into the ground. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Next one's optional. If you want, you want to start guiding your hand round to the back of the room, just bring it into a little bit of a back bend. Next, inhale back to the side. Exhale, draw those arms out in front of you, press them parallel. Inhale, draw those shoulders back and down. Exhale, swapping over to the opposite side. This time, extending our right leg to the side of the room. Make sure that foot is facing forward. Make sure your baby toe side is pressing down on the earth. Engage your thighs, lift the kneecaps. Inhale, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, dropping the left hand to the mat, draw the right arm overhead. Stretch to the side of the room. Lifting through the whole length of your right leg. Okay, next, stretch is optional. You may want to start to walk that hand towards the back of the room, bring it into a mini back bend. Inhale, back to the side. Exhale, draw those arms out in front of you, parallel. Exhale. Inhale, rolling those shoulders back and down the spine. Exhale, bring those knees together and then we're going to turn, bring those palms out in front of you to your tabletop position. Making sure your index fingers are facing forward. Press through the hands, lift through the shoulders, lift through the elbows. Bring your core in towards the spine, lifting the navel. Next, inhale, we're going to tuck up the toes, lift the knees, and then as we exhale, we're going to come into our downward dog, so pressing the mat away with the hands, 
Start to bring the chest close towards the thighs, lift the pelvis, lift the hips towards the ceiling. You may want to start straightening out through those legs. You can keep the knees bent if you want. You start straightening out through those legs, pressing those heels closer towards the ground, towards the mat. And then again, keeping your tailbone tucked, lifting the pelvis, lifting the hips, pressing through the hands, making sure those elbows are nice and straight. Inhale, look between the hands. Step the right foot forward. And step the left foot forward. Exhale, straighten up the legs, bending over the body, crown the head towards the ground. Inhale, slowly unraveling through the spine. Lift the arms overhead. Straight away, we're going to bend straight forward. Make sure your feet are parallel. Exhale, bring those palms down, hinge at the hips. You can bend the knees as much as you need to find the mat with the palms, fingertips facing forward. Inhale, lift the gaze straight in the spine. Exhale, right foot to the back of your mat. Left foot to the back of your mat. Inhale, stay. Exhale, drop the knees. Drop the chest, drop the chin, rolling through the spine. Inhale, into your baby cobra. So keep it nice and low, belly button on the mat. Bring those elbows in towards the ribs. Roll through the shoulders. Heart projecting forward. Exhale, push to tabletop. Inhale, tuck at the toes, lift the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog, press the chest towards the thighs, lift the pelvis, lift the hips. Start to straighten out through your legs. You can walk the dog a little bit. So coming onto the toes of one foot as you press the heels of the other foot away. Just walking out, releasing any tension. Inhale, look between the hands. Step the left foot forward. And step the right foot forward. Big toes touching, little gap between the heels. Exhale, straighten the legs, bending over the body, crown of the head towards the earth. Inhale, slowly unraveling all the way up. Lift the arms overhead, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the belly. Straight away, as we exhale, hinge out your hips, walk those hands all the way down to the mat, you can bend the knees again. So again, we can step the right and the left foot back if you want a bit more of a challenge. Inhale, everyone look up. Exhale, right then left, or if you want to hop into a plank, hop those feet back at the same time. Again, exhale, knees, chin and chest, or if you want to practice with your low plank, shift the weight a little bit over those ribs, engage the core, and then you start to bend those elbows down and inwards, looking forward. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. So tops of the toes, have palms um, are pressed on the mat, lifting through the rest of the body in our upward facing dog. Lifting through the hips, the pelvis, the thighs, the knees, roll those shoulders back and down. Exhale, roll straight into your downward dog, turning over those feet. Press those feet into the mat again. You can keep a bend in those knees if you need. Really good. Inhale, look between the hands. Roll to the top, come onto the toes of your feet. Exhale, drop the knees, relax the feet. Bring those palms back so you're in a tabletop. So back to our tabletop position. We just want you to make sure that your shoulders, your elbows and your wrists are in one straight line and your hands are about Shoulder width apart with the knees, you want the knees directly below the hips, hip distance apart. So once you've got your perfect alignment, as we inhale, we're going to drop the belly towards the earth. As we lift the chest and lift the heart, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the pelvis towards the sky. So coming into our cow posture, just shifting. As we exhale, press the mat away, lift the navel, lift the shoulders, lift the spine towards the ceiling. Crown of the head faces forward, gazing between the hands. Next, inhale again, roll through the spine, navel towards the ground, lift through the chest and the heart, gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, press the floor away, lift the shoulder blades, lift the belly, lift the, lift the, 
spine, sorry. One last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, back to your tabletop. And then bring the feet together. You're gonna sink the hips back to your feet. Come to sit on your heels. Just shake out those hands for a little second. And roll up those shoulders. I'm gonna prepare for our balances in our tabletop now. So back to your tabletop, check your alignment once more. And then when you're ready, we're going to extend that left leg to the back of your room. Make sure your hips are square. Don't let your left leg rotate, your left hip rotate towards the side of the room. You want to keep it nice and square. You can point that foot or flex that foot, whatever works best for you. Focus your drishti, your gaze point, nice and steady out in front of you. When you've got your balance, maybe you want to lift the opposite arm to your right arm out in front of you, nice and straight. Just holding this for a few breaths. Next step to take. If this isn't enough for you, you want to bend at your back knee. Bring the right arm around the back to the right side of your body until it finds your left foot. So pressing it on the top of your left foot. As we inhale, press the foot into the hand. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Just feel a stretch running down the length of your arm and your shoulder. The three. Breathing deep for two, for one, very slowly. If you're not already, extend the limbs out long once more. Uh, so I'll drop the hand and then drop the knees, send the hips back to the heels once more, shaking out those hands. Well done, guys. And remember to take every pose each step at a time, not to go <clears throat> over your limit. When we're ready, back to our tabletop. <clears throat> Excuse me. This time extending the right leg. Again, keep those hips square. Try to prevent that right hip and right leg from facing the right side of the room. On the hip facing the ground. Pressing through those toes or flexing at the feet, whatever works for you. Then when you've got your gaze point, your drift, stay on something steady. Extend that left arm, the opposite arm, out in front of you. You guys can stay here, that's completely okay. If you want more of a challenge then, you want to bend at your back foot. Bring the left arm around the back of the left side of the body until it finds that foot. This may be enough for you. If you want to progress to the next level, press that foot into the hand. As you lift the chest, lift the heart, press the man away with your right hand. Starting to stretch. Quads, through the shoulders, through the arms, for three, deep breathing, for two, for one. Exhale, slowly release that arm out in front of you, that leg out long. Next, exhale, drop that hand, drop that foot, bring your two big toes to touch, knees as wide as your mat. And then as we exhale, send those hips back to the heels, extend your arms forward, coming into a wide child's pose. You can bring the tops of your head down to the mat or chin to the mat, wherever you are. I just want you to close your eyes for a few moments. And just sinking the chest, sinking the heart, and sinking your hips down to the heels, feeling grounded on the earth. I'm just taking this time When you're ready, inhale, look between the hands. You're going to walk those hands back towards you. Bring those knees back to their parallel. You want them to be hip distance apart once more, as we were doing at the start. Then when you're ready, we're coming into our puppy pose. So you want to start to extend those arms out in front of you. Lift the pelvis and the hips towards the ceiling. At the same time, try not to flex too much through the spine. You want to keep um, it nice and tight through our core muscles. And you start to allow the arms to be out long in front of you. And you start to allow that chest to sink down towards the mat. Please do not worry if your chest is not on the mat yet. We're just starting to open out through these new areas. 
through the shoulders. You can bring the forehead down to the mat if it's not accessible to you yet. If you want, you can start to bring the chin to the mat and lift onto the fingertips. Every exhale, just allowing that chest to sink a little bit deeper towards the earth. Deep breathing. When you're ready, keeping pelvis, the hips, the knees where they are, we're going to walk the forearms inwards. Interlock the hands in front of you. You might want to walk those shoulders a little bit. Further for, elbow, sorry, a little bit further forward. We're going to start to open out through the shoulders. Inhale deeply. And then as you exhale, again, sink that chest towards the ground. You can again come onto your, the tops of your head, no, the tops of your head, sorry, your forehead, or you can bring your chin towards the ground. You want to bring those arms, those hands towards the tops of your head. Just start to feel that opening through the shoulders, through the forearms. Sinking the chest and the heart. Just coming where it's comfortable for you. No need to push too hard. Just with time and dedicated practice, you'll eventually build the strength and flexibility to progress into your wheel pose. When you're ready, we're going to extend those arms out long in front of you. So coming onto your forearms <clears throat> and extend them out long once more. You can stay in your extended puppy pose or if you want to practice with the next step, turning over onto your toes. As you inhale, allow the chest to sink a little bit further forward. Inhale, we want to lift those knees off the mat and start to straighten out through those legs. Walk those hands forward, keep the chest on the mat. Might want to walk those feet a little bit closer. Exhale. Sink the knees back to the mat. And then come forward down onto your forearms into our sphinx pose. Well done so far, guys. So in sphinx, it's just a nice little back bend. Nothing too intense. Bring those forearms out in front of you nice and parallel. And then instead of having that flexion and relaxation through the spine and the belly on the mat, what I want you to do is squeeze the glutes and bring the tailbone in and up. Bring that belly button in towards the spine. So I'll just show you again so you can see the distance. This is me flexing my spine and relaxing my belly. My shoulders are also relaxed towards my ears, which we do not want. And then this is when I'm activating the pose bringing that tailbone in towards the spine, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the belly, pressing through the forearms, lifting those, lifting those ears away from the shoulders. Just building that strength. Next, inhale, looking over your left shoulder, keeping your tailbone tucked, we're gonna bring the left foot towards the left glutes. Squeeze that foot. Try to keep integrity through the belly, through the spine, exhale, release, looking forward, and now look over the right shoulder, bring the right foot towards the right glute, squeeze that foot as close towards you as you can, really squeeze, keep the integrity through the belly, keep the tailbone tucked in, exhale, release, in our forward. Keep that tuck. And see if you can come and straighten the arms. Keep the hands where they are as we inhale. Straighten through the arms. Straighten. Roll those shoulders back and down. Gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, release back to your sphinx. And then relax back down to the mat. Bring those hands by the chest. Inhale, shoulders back and down. Elbows. Pressing in towards the ribs, coming into our cobra. So instead of pressing through the arms in cobra, we want to keep a bend in the elbows, keep them pressing in towards the ribs. If we want to feel 
that our heart is projecting forward, no tension on our lower spine. We want to feel this opening through our mid spine. Exhale, release down to the mat. Interlock the hands behind your back, press the palms together. We can start to work our core. As we inhale, we're going to lift through the chest, lift the belly, press those palms away from you, rolling those shoulders back and down. Squeeze the glutes. Coming as high as you can for five, for four, for three. Two and one. Very slowly out of control, releasing to the mat. Bring the palms out in front of you, interlock the fingers. Relax your head to one side. Just relax the whole body for a few moments. Relax the heart rate. When you're ready, me back, interlocking your hands behind the back, press the palms together. This time we're going to lift the feet at the same time. So on the inhale we lift the feet, we squeeze the glutes, we press those shoulders down the back and we lift through the chest and the heart. Amazing. So when you're ready, inhale, lift the legs, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the heart, lift the chest. For five, Four, press the thighs together for two and one. Slowly release back down in to lock the hands in front of you. Relax your head to the opposite side, maybe close the eyes. Amazing. When you're ready, we're going to try with our full thing pose. Please feel free to miss this one out, but if you want to have a little practice, I'll talk you through it. So again, squeezing the glutes, tucking the tailbone, we're going to bring both your feet towards your glutes. And then bringing your left hand around the outside of your left foot. Or the inside, it's really up to you, you can have a play with both. And then the same with the opposite side, so right hand to the outside, all the inside of the right foot. Squeeze the knees together, roll the shoulders back and down. As you inhale, we're gonna press the feet in towards the hands, roll the shoulders together, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, lift the legs off the mat. Press the feet into the hands, squeeze the knees together, squeeze the thighs together. For three, for two, for one, exhale, release the legs, gently bring the hands out in front of you, release the feet to the mat, place your head to either side, the left or the right, just relax for a few breaths. Inhale, where you're ready, bring both your hands by the chest, Inhale, back to Cobra. Exhale, mini child's pose. Towards the heels, forehead down towards the earth. And just allowing for your spine to come back to neutral. When you're ready, looking between the hands back to your tabletop. As we inhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. So once more, shifting the pelvis, lifting the hips nice and high, pressing the hands in towards the mat, descending those heels down towards the mat as far as you can. No worries if you need to bend as well. Inhale, look between the hands, step the right foot forward. Drop the left knee, drop the left foot in. I'll draw those arms towards the ceiling. Press those thighs together. We're not trying to focus the sinking just yet. We want to press those thighs together, build that strength in the legs. Exhale, drop your hands to your front knee. Press the knee away, lift the navel, tuck the tailbone. Really good. 
When you're ready, come back to relax, interlock your hands behind your back, roll the shoulders back and down, and extend forward. Exhale, drop both your hands to the mat. This time we're going to come into a bit of a quad stretch. So we're going to bend out your back knee. Don't worry if this one's a bit too tight for you at the moment. And then we're going to shift the weight back up. Try to balance. Press both your hands around that back foot. And then shift the weight forward a little bit. Just relax. Inhale, back up. Exhale, drop the hands, drop the back foot. Walk the right foot to the outside edges of the mat, coming into our lizard pose. So just before we come straight down onto our forearms, you may find this a little bit tight. If this is you, I want you to stay on the hands, roll the shoulders back and down, and then start to sink the hips down towards the mat and feel that stretch through the quad. If you want to come into your full lizard, as we exhale, descend onto one forearm and onto the opposite forearm, you can interlock your hands if you want. And just maybe rocking a little bit back and forward, easing out any tension. If you want, you can come onto the toes of your back foot and sink a little bit deeper through the hips. Exhale, drop the back knee. Walk your hands back up. And then walk that foot in between your hands. Inhale, straighten through the spine and look forward. As we exhale, we're going to start to straighten out through our front leg. Shift the hips and the pelvis back. Lift through the core. Coming into a bit of a forward fold in our half splits. You may want to flex out your front foot. Walk your hands a little bit further forward. Keep a nice straight line in the back of your body. So if you're finding yourself rounding, you're going to keep it a little bit higher. Again, if you have any blocks, you can come onto your blocks. Just a few more breaths here, guys. Inhale. Bending at your front knee, bring those hands just in front of that foot. Lift through your back toes. Shift the weight back into your plank. And straight away, we're going to bring the left foot in this time. Drop the back knee. Inhale, draw those arms overhead. Exhale, press your hands on your front knee. Tuck the tailbone. Tuck the core and press the knee away. As we inhale, gaze up. Exhale, neutral spine, interlock your hands behind your back. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down, press those hands away. Exhale, nearly back bend. Inhale, back to the centre. This time, coming onto your hands, lift your back knee. Walk your right hand round the outside of your left foot. And then the same with the opposite hand. You may want to lift up a little bit. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. And then as we exhale, starting to gaze forward. Relaxing on that front leg. Feeling that stretch for your back quad. Feel the power on through your front leg, your front thigh. And when you're ready, exhale, release the hands to the mat and slowly release the leg. Walk your left foot to the side of your mat. And then again, you can either stay on your hands if you want to go a little bit deeper into your full lizard. Coming down onto one forearm and then the opposite forearm, maybe into locking your hands. A nice long line in the back so your body, try not to crumple down. And just walking. Easing out any tension, remembering to breathe deeply. Gain you the staying here, you may want to lift onto your toes. And 
there, exhale, drop the back knee, coming back onto your hands if you want already, walk that foot in between the hands, inhale, gaze forward, straighten through the spine. Exhale, straightening out through that front leg, coming into our half split. You can walk that foot a little bit forward as well if you have a little more space. You can keep it tall, the hands on the thighs, or if you have blocks, you may want to take it a little bit deeper by flexing at your foot and walking those hands a little bit further forward. But wherever you are, not rolling through the spine, keeping a nice extension, nice and long, lengthening. Next, inhale, pressing this foot back on the mat. Inhale, lift your back foot. Then bring the left foot back into your plank. See if we can lower into our low plank. As we exhale, shift the weight forward over the wrist. Start to bend at the elbows, bend them down and inwards, pressing them towards the chest, looking forward. As we inhale, roll those feet over, upward facing dog, roll the shoulders back and down, press the palms, press the tops of the feet, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, tabletop, bring the hip, um, hips back to the heels, shake out your hands. We're going to prepare ourselves for our camel pose. So I'll talk you through camel. So camel can be quite a deep back bend, so we're going to go one step at a time. When you've reached your limit, please stay there. Please don't overdo it. Please don't um, crunch into your lumbar spine. I'm going to take this nice and slowly. So making sure your knees are about hip distance apart and then feet are just parallel out behind you. And when you're ready, I want you, instead of having that flexion in the spine, belly and um, projecting forward, we're going to tighten everything up, we're going to tuck the tailbone, lift the core, squeeze the glutes, keeping it really nice and tight in this area. When you're ready, I want you to press your palms on your lower spine and then guide your elbows together, roll your shoulders back and now I'm squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then gently just start to shift the weight back. Inhale up. Exhale, shift the weight back. Inhale up. Exhale, shift back. Inhale up. Last time, exhale, shift the weight back. Inhale, back up. This time, keeping it really tight in our core, keep the tailbone tucked. I'm going to start to stretch through the upper parts of our spine. You can walk those hands facing up your spine if you have more space in your wrists. Just starting to ex extend the chest towards the ceiling, roll your shoulders back and down. Inhale, straighten through the spine. This time we're gonna go and try and reach for our feet. Please do try this if you're feeling quite tired in the pose we've just practice please stay at this pose for now and I promise with time you'll be able to reach your back feet nice and safely when we're ready all together whether your hands are here or here inhale gaze up start bend through the spine keep it tight in the lumbar spine in the pelvis you may be able to drop one hand to the backs of your foot and then the opposite hand, if you found your heels. Inhale, shift the hips and the pelvis forward. Lift the ribs towards the ceiling. Roll those shoulders down. Maybe you want to relax the neck into your camel. Just whatever pose you've chose to do. Taking deep breaths. When you're ready next, inhale if you're on your full camel. Lift through the chest and the neck. 
And exhale completely. Inhale, bring the hands to your lower spine. And then guide yourself all the way up. Exhale, release the hips down to your heels. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, close the eyes. You start to relax through the body. And the camel usually builds a lot of heat. Just no sort of movement, it's just allow for our spine to neutralize once more. When you're ready, open the eyes. Extend those arms out long in front of you, just for a mini child's pose, forehead down to the mat. Inhale, look forward, walking your fingertips back and come to bring your legs out long in front of you. When you're ready, bring the right foot close towards you and just walk it so if, um, the instep is in line with your left knee. We're going to bring your left hand behind you, fingertips facing the backs of the room. As we inhale, what we want to do is press into our left heel, lift the right arm overhead and extend the pelvis and the hips as we press into our right foot and lift through the right thigh towards the ceiling, press the left toes in towards the ground, shift that arm overhead, keep the right foot on the mat as much as you can and then when we exhale, we release back down. So we'll do it all together now, so when you're ready, as you inhale, lift, press your left toes in towards the mat, lift that hand overhead, exhale, release, two more times, inhale, extend the pelvis and hips, roll that hand behind you, exhale, release to the mat, one last time, inhale, lift, Exhale, release to the mat. Release that leg out long, shake out through the hands. I'm going to repeat on the opposite side straight away. So this time bringing the left foot so the insteps in line with your right knee. And then bring the left, the right hand, sorry, behind you, fingertips facing the back of the room. We'll all do it together this time. So on the inhale, we're going to lift, pressing your right foot in towards the mat. Pressing your left toes, really grounded on the mat as well. Lifting through the hips and the pelvis as we extend that left arm overhead. Exhale. Next, inhale, lift. Press that hand towards the back of the room. Press the left foot into the mat. Press the right foot into the mat. Exhale, bring the arm forward, back to the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale back. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale back. Well done, guys. So these are really cool to prepare for your wheel pose. They're going to strengthen through the arms. They're also going to increase the flexibility in your quads because you're making sure that foot is pressed on the mat. If you notice that your heel is lifted, you may want to walk that foot a little bit further away from the knee just to make sure your foot's nice and secure and you're getting that nice stretch through the quad. Perfect. So when you're ready, we're going to come down to laying down. This is where we're going to be using our block, sorry. So if you don't have one, please don't worry. It's just useful to make sure that we've got our correct alignment between our knees. We want our knees to be stay hip distance apart and not um, Flex to the snot, come out to the side and um, over the hips. That's what we don't want in our bridge pose. So before we practice with our wheel, we're going to try with our bridge. So pressing this block between your knees or your foot, whatever you have. If you don't have one, that's completely fine. Just make sure that your knees are nice and parallel. You're going to walk your feet towards the backs of your hips and try to touch your heels with your hands. 
If you're really struggling to touch the heels, you may want to walk onto your shoulders a little bit more until your hands can meet the feet and shuffle the feet closer towards the glutes. Next, inhale, press the feet in towards the mat. Keep a grip of your heels. Lift through the hips and the pelvis. Shuffle onto your shoulder blades a little bit more and extend those hips towards the ceiling. Press the shoulders into the mat. Squeeze the block together. Make sure your knees are parallel. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale. Releasing down. I'm going to repeat that again on your next inhale. Lifting all the way up, coming onto your shoulders a little bit more, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core, extending the hips and the pelvis, pressing the block between the knees. Exhale, releasing down. Just take a moment of rest. Next one, we're going to repeat one more time. If you want to go a little bit further, I'm going to talk you through it once we get up into our bridge. When you're ready, keeping your hands nice and secure on your heels. Inhale, lifting all the way up into your bridge, walking onto your shoulder blades. If you want to try and grab around your feet, you can walk those shoulder blades further down. Walk those hands closer towards you. You may notice you start to shift the weight forward to the back down towards the ground. If this is you, lift high up. Really press that block between the knees. Press the knees together if you don't have a block. Lifting the hips, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, releasing all the way down. Release the block for a few moments. Bring those legs towards the ceiling, shake out through the legs and just release any tension. That's quite a lot of strengthening work through our thighs and our knees. So it's completely okay if you're feeling quite tired out right now. Finally, we're coming to our wheel pose. We're going to take it step by step, nice and slowly. First thing we want to do is have our hands facing the back of the room, behind us, by the ears, elbows, you want to be facing towards the ceiling, nice and parallel. Again, if you have the block, keep it between the knees for now because what tends to happen is when we press up into our wheel is those knees will splay wider than the hips and then we'll bring, we'll bring some tension to our lumbar spine. We do not want this to happen, so just working with your flexibility wherever this may be at the moment. So press the block between the knees, bring your fingertips facing towards the backs of the room. No, sorry, I'm completely wrong. You want to press those fingertips facing the fronts of the room. So by the ears, pressing towards the fronts of the room, bring those elbows towards you. As we inhale, we're going to lift through the arms, lift the hips a little bit and come onto the tops of our heads. Show you guys as we inhale, lift onto the tops of our heads and then make sure you've got grasp of your block. Keep those shoulders, those elbows nice and square towards the backs of the room. Front. Next, exhale, lift through the arms, press them into the mat. Extend through the elbows, press that block between the knees, try not to let the block release. Come walk those hands a little closer. And relax the glutes, start to straighten out through the legs, aiming to get those shoulders below the wrists, above the wrists, sorry. And just gazing between the hands. Just holding this for as long as you can. Just building that strength through the legs, the quads. And then when you're ready, as you exhale, bend at the knees. Lift the head to face the ceiling and relax down to the mat. Relax the legs. Bring the hands by your side. Just bring your knees to the bent feet, staying by your hips. Closing the eyes, noticing any sensations you're feeling. And 
And we just allow for the spine to neutralize. Once more. And this time, we're actually going to try using going into our wheel without the block. You can keep it using the block if you're more comfortable here. So when you're ready, bring those arms overhead, fingertips facing the front of the room square, the shoulders and the elbows. Walk those feet towards your hips. Make sure your knees are parallel. Again, as we inhale, pressing through the hands, lifting through the core, lifting through the pelvis. Pressing onto the tops of your heads to start with. And then as we exhale, press through the palms, lift the head towards the ceiling. And then start to straighten through the legs, straighten through the quads. And looking between the hands, relaxing the shoulders a little bit. You may want to walk those hands a little closer to your feet. Make sure your knees aren't slinked to the side. And you'll try to keep the feet pressing onto the mat. So if you notice when you start to walk the hands forward, you come onto your toes. Walk those feet a little bit further away, just whilst you're gaining a bit more flexibility here. The main thing is to keep those knees nice and parallel, feet secure on the mat, opening through your thyrotic spine, through your upper spine. Next, exhale, looking towards the ceiling, bending the elbows, relax down towards the earth, shuffle onto your mat, and then straighten the legs towards the ceiling, just start to shape them out a little bit. And then very gently bringing them all the way down, out long, on the mat, and in front of you. When you're ready, inhale, bring that left knee in towards the chest, rolling out through your left ankle. I'm going to take a few sub spine twists. When you're ready, bring your knee into your left hand. Extend the right arm to the side of the room. You can cactus that arm if there's not as much space like me. I'm going to walk your right knee over the top of so your left leg. Bring the right knee close towards the ground. Make sure your right shoulder blade is pressing down on the mat. It's more important than getting the right knee down to the earth. You want to keep that shoulder blade really grounded. A few moments here. Next, inhale, walk that knee back towards your chest. Exhale, extend the leg out long. Inhale, this time left knee towards the chest, trace hate through that left ankle. And bring the left knee into the right hand as we walk that left leg over the top to the right again. Keep that left shoulder very, really glued on the earth, extend the arm out longer, you can cactus the arm. As you inhale, really feeling the length of your body, twisting, bringing out that rib. Inhale back to the centre, this time both knees in towards the chest, interlock the hands around the knees. Exhale, press the shoulder blades in towards the mat, tuck at the tailbone. Inhale, lift the shoulders, lift the head, squeeze the legs. Exhale, release the head. More than last time, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, release. And then very gently, you're going to take a few rocks throughout the spine. Back and forth. Maybe three, maybe four. And then make your way to seated. Okay, thank you for joining me today, guys. I hope this has helped you prepare a bit better for your wheel pose. Again, if you have any more questions, please send me a message and I'll try my best to help you out. And thank you for watching and see you soon.